Okay, welcome back to the UNN Guide YouTube channel. Today we'll be showing you how to create um, a blog on wiki.com and also link it to the UNN website. Now for this video, all you need for this video is these two mobile applications. You need to download Wix um, mobile application and also get a Chrome. Or you can also get um, Opera Mini or any web browser you know that can fit in your mobile device. Now, if you want to get your Wix, just go to your um, Google Play Store. Play Store. Open your Play Store. Then type on Wix. You will see it pop up here. Then click on it. Now, as I've downloaded it already, so I don't need to download again. So just click on open. But if you've not downloaded it, then you need to download it. So once you open it, then it will require you to create your account. Now you have to do, click on continue with email. Once you click on it, then you add your school email address, your school email address, and click on next. Now you, you have to enter a password, any password of your choice to secure your device and make sure you can remember the password again so that you'll be able to access your account whenever you need to. So I'm going to type password, choice, um, I don't even know what I'm typing here. Okay. Okay, ensure that the two passwords are same, then click on sign up. Now once you sign up, you have to create the website. So what you created is an account on Wix. Now you have to create a website by clicking on the Create New. Now it will request for you to create, is it a, blog, a mobile application? Now you click on the website. Now you have to click on the blog because you have to create a blog which you are going to connect to your own website. Now click on the blog. Now give your website a name. You can give it any name of your choice, but we're going to be giving it your name, guys. For example, click on the next. Now I have to select the theme. Now select anything. There are lots of things here. But let's go with um let's go with Soho. Now once you tap on Soho, you should do good market shows that you tap it. Then then you click on create website. Then allow it to load. Once it loads, that yeah, this is your website page. Now the next thing you need to do is you have two sections here: overview and your manage. Now to manage, the manage section is for you to edit your website or do some other uh, publications in your website. Now you have three features on your web or your blog on the website you just created. Now the number one feature is blog forum and video maker. You can click on this to add any feature but for now you don't necessarily need that. And number two point you need to understand here is that your website has not been published yet. As you can see here it is written not published. So what do you need to do? You need to publish your website then you create a post on the blog section and publish it too. So for the main time let's click on the publish section and publish the blog. Allow it to load, give it time and ensure that you have um, um, enough subscription and uh, a full internet access. Now, this is your blog. You have not posted anything here, but all these posts here are demo. So you can now click on publish. Now it will now publish your website. Allow it to load completely. Now this is your website. Then the next thing you need to do is to click on this. Do not click on the get your domain. Click on this. X asterisk icon at the top, click on it, it leaves the page. Then you go back to um, the front page where, where you came from, click on this back side and it goes. Okay. I think I might have to try that again. Publish. Okay, once you publish your site, your site is live, then click on um, this icon, preview. Uh, 
allow it to load just give it a little time it will load now as you can see it has, it has loaded now so this is what your site is going to look like when you visit it on your Chrome now the next thing you need to do is to click on edit site now this is the page where you can edit your site you can choose a theme if you, are, if you don't like the form one you chose then this is for more um, upgrades if you want to do some certain stuff so let's go back and this is pages but this is not necessary for the main time so this is what your page looks like if you want to add your other details just go back let's go back to the front page then once you come back to this page try and refresh your um, your page by scrolling up then click on the dashboard now click on the manage session again now as you can see here your site has been published formerly it was writing not published but now you have published it and it is live if anybody who clicks on your link can visit your website if you want to copy your link just click on this section allow it to load then Then to access your click on the preview icon. This takes time, but you have you have to be patient. This is it. This is your website page for the just like. Okay, so let's go back and uh, complete the remaining stuff now the next thing you need to do is to click on the blog so that you can paste um, you can publish your post on your website click on the blog now once you open the blog it says add post add post now you have to click on add post it tells you create a post now you have to add a title so now you've gotten this, the next thing you need to do is to visit, you minimize and visit your Chrome mobile application. Now let's minimize. Let me use um, parallel space. This is not necessary, but you need to open your Chrome app. So you open your Chrome app. And once you open your Chrome app, then visit, visit UNN website. UNN dot ng sorry this is wrong okay this is UNN website now once you open the UNN website once you open the UNN website you're going to see lots of posts here and you're going to select one one of the posts you see in here so let's select this educational foundations conference Skeletal services with transfer processing. Okay, let's go with this first one. It does not have much content, just a picture. I think we should go with the second one to to show proper explanation of what we're trying to do here. Okay, this is now good. Too. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, let's go with this UNN IAS IAEST -E collaboration. Let's go with this. Now, once you open this, you're going to see the image. You have to download this picture, download image. Once you download it, then you have to copy the title of this post. Copy it. Then also, you have to copy a little introduction of this post. You have to copy. I'm doing this this way because I use this mobile application which saves everything you copy here. So if you have this app, it's it's good for for mobile applications. It helps you to copy some tasks and uh, and store them. So you can copy this. Whenever I copy it, it saves in this mobile app. And whenever I need it, 
it comes back. So now we have saved this. The next thing to do is to go back to our Wix.com app and do. so now we'll be going back to our Wix app. Open the Wix app. Then visit the dashboard, manage, click on the blog, and click on add posts. Now you have to add the title of the post you copied from the UNN website. Once you, once you do it, now you have to add the small introduction you copied from the UNN website. Now we have it here. Now the next thing you need to do is to add the link of the UNL website where you copied this post exactly from. So we forgot to do that. Let's get the link. Now this is the link. Copy the link. Then come back to this page. Oh god. Oh it's just no more. Have to allow it to reset. Click on dashboard again. Click on manage, click on blog, add posts. Now you have to get ready for all these things with your details. Copy the title, paste it here. Now here, paste to little information, paste the link. Now before you paste the link, you have to type for more information. This is the link below. Now you can actually type anything you like, but uh, we're just using this for an example. So once you type the link, then you give a space. Now this, your link is set. If you can't do this, you can actually click on this icon here. It means link. Once you click on it, you post the link. Sorry, it's just not a link. Once you click on it, you post the link. Then you choose whether you want, um, when we click on the link, if you want to open a new tab. Once you click on this, you click on save. It still appears. So anyone you want to, you can actually do it. So it's easy and, and understandable. Easy and understandable, so I'm going to take off one to avoid confusion here. Now, this is it. So, the next thing you need to do is to add the image you downloaded from the UNN website. Tap on this section, push it down. Tap on this section, click on plus image from gallery. Choose from device, allow. Now you have to select the image you downloaded, which is this. Then click on next. Now this is the image you uploaded. Allow it to upload. Just give it a little bit of time. Now for this thing you you really need a strong a strong fast network. Now once you've uploaded it, the next thing you need to click on is next. Then it tells you to save and publish. Just say, click on save and publish. You see, your post was published. Now, view post. This is your post, and the picture is going to be appearing here. So, you have done what the school wants you to do, and uh, you can actually share your post if you want to share it. So, now the next thing you need to do is to copy the link to your website. You need to find the link to your website, and that is what we are going to do now. So once you click on the back, go to your account. Okay. View profile. Here you can edit your profile. Add any name you like to make your profile look awesome. Now you have to go back to your main page. Now this is your dashboard, you go to your dashboard to get your link. Now click on this manage. 
Now, once you open the manage, now this is where your link is. You click on the UNN guide website. Now you click on on um, more. Now once you click on more, you click on view live site. Now once it opens on Chrome or any website you are using, now the link on this line on this page is the link you are going to copy and save. Now once you click uh, once you tap on it, you copy the link. Once you copy the link, it saves in your mobile device. Now what you need to do is to keep the link so that whenever they ask you for your link, you have to send it to them. Now this is your link. You can answer it a at seven dot dot com forward slash and guide. Now this is your website link. Now whenever someone asks you of your website link, all you need to do is just to send them this link you copied. Or if you want to view it again, you can just copy the link paste it wherever you want and you view your website once you scroll down you're going to see the post the UNN post you made as you can see this is the image is not um, loading properly okay it has loaded now this is the image now once you tap on this image content that is this post once you tap on this post it will appear this way and as you're seeing it this is the link below this is the link below if you tap on this link it is going to take you towards UNN website without the loop. So this is exactly what they want you to do and now uh, you've done it perfectly. So all you need to do is to share this video and um, teach others how to do this. So don't forget all you need for this is your Wix mobile application and your Chrome app. Thank you very much. Click on the subscribe icon and don't forget to share this video to your friends and uh, your mates. Thank you.